Okay, hi guys. Um, so I realized that a lot of people probably don't have paints or canvases. So I just wanted to get, jump on here and do a really quick video on using a Sharpie. Um, you can use a marker, pencil, crayon for this. It's really fun and funny and I hope you guys <laughs> like it. So I'm gonna get my artist set up and then I'm gonna show you real quick. It shouldn't take very long. Um, so I'll just show you guys the steps as I go along. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in so you can watch what I'm doing real fast. Um, the end result will kind of be a surprise. So just follow along um, as we go. Um, I'm actually gonna do mine on a cardboard. And you can use, my girls are using just a little piece of paper um, like this that I cut into fours, a regular size piece of paper. So you can do whatever size you want. I'm gonna use cardboard so that you guys can see. So the first step we're going to do is a, an upside down half circle. Ew. It's kind of like a half oval or upside U. down. Or a U. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to do this, the top part, same thing, but don't have them connect. Okay, so we're leaving space, so make sure that you leave some space there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a backwards C connecting them like that, and then a frontwards C connecting them like that. So your art should look like that for right now. Okay, down here at the bottom, I'm gonna just do a squiggly line, not too long, a couple squiggly lines here, there. Okay, like that. Next, we're gonna come right above those, and I'm just gonna kinda do like looks like a little frowny face <laughs> towards the bottom. Right above that, I'm gonna start at one point and I'm gonna just do a little bit of a dip down. So I'm gonna go dip and then I'm gonna come up and then I'm gonna flatline it. So a little bit of a dip, come up and then flatline it. Okay, so next we're going to do is two lines. One, two. And then in between those lines, I'm gonna do like that. I'm gonna make my lines just a little bit longer there. Okay, so that's what we have so far. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a top line and then a bottom line, and then I'm just gonna connect them. So that's what we have so far. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a circle around those eyes. We're gonna create like glasses. So I'll go ahead and do two circles right around those eyes, and then we're gonna connect them. I have a connecting point on our glasses there. Okay, now from this eye, I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna just kind of do like a, a long line down with a little bit of a squiggle, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do another one, just like that. And then same thing over here, do a couple lines. It looks like that. And then for the nose, we're gonna come down and we're gonna bring it down and then we're gonna bring it over. So we're gonna go down and then over. All right, now for up top here, I'm gonna do a little line right above the glasses. It's gonna kinda come down, kinda like a wrinkle line right there. And then above or right next to it, almost a little bit of a half, another half circle kind of line, okay? And then up here, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go down and then flat line it, kind of similar to what we did down below, just up top. And then we're gonna do another little bit of a frowny face up top there. So, so far we have a person. Okay, now let's go ahead and do his hair. So we're gonna start at this ear and I'm gonna come straight up and I'm gonna kind of give it a, a little bit of a lump right there. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna swoop and do another one. We're gonna kind of build it. So that'll be our tip and then we're gonna come and start going down. But now I'm gonna start on this side and bring it to meet that one. So we're gonna start um, just right above the ear here and kind of bring it out away from the headline, okay? It's 
So now we have some hair. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and color. Um, let's see, I'll go ahead and color his eyes and I have some blue here. I'm using Sharpie, but feel free to use obviously crayons or markers or whatever you have. Whoops, I went a little bit out of the line there. So I color his eyes blue. And then you could, what I did for um, one that I drew on my own is I just paint or colored in the hair gray. Um, but I won't do that for here. So here's the cool thing. You just drew a man. But as time goes on, that man <laughs> gets older. <laughs> okay? So here's our man. And then also what it looks like when he gets older. <laughs> okay, so now the girls want to show you theirs. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so olives. This is olives. Mm, I like this. So here's her man. And then he got older. <laughs> it's cute. Mm -hmm. And then Areas. Here's her man. And then he <laughs> got older. <laughs> Anyways, this is, again. Here's our person we drew, flip it, and we have a different look. Okay, have fun with this, guys. Show me it if you do it.